Welcome back to Physics 30. This is the CO2 momentum review for the upcoming open book exam. Uh, the sections that we did in CO2 include CO2.1 momentum and its relation to force. Uh, so you have that. I'll also be giving you uh, this reference sheet here, the formula sheet. Uh, so basically we just add on to the existing uh, units that we had with the new CO2. So if you, I'll have this included. Uh, on Google Classroom. So if you look at page two, you'll see the kinetic energy equations, and down here is where momentum, mass times velocity, change momentum, mass times change in velocity, V2 minus V1, or, or velocity two minus velocity one. And also uh, the net force being equivalent to a change in momentum per time. So all of that occurred in that first unit. Um, in CO2.1. Then we looked at CO2.2 conservation of momentum and we looked at questions involving that. So right over here, momentum before equals momentum after. So we looked at momentum of two objects before versus after with the prime. And of course P is equal to M times V so we can represent it like this as well. And solving for such questions as if we knew a velocity of one of the objects after, we could figure out the other velocity. Or if they stick together, uh, the VA prime and VB prime just become V prime and uh, figuring that out. Okay, so that was in uh, CO2.2. And then we looked at CO2.3, which was uh, collisions and impulse. And that's where we look, went back to here and looked at impulse, the, the quantity, when we take this equation, rearrange it for delta change in momentum. F multiplied by delta T is a term referred to as impulse. And if you want to write this on the formula sheet, you can write F delta T is in fact called impulse. When we exert a force on an object for a certain time period, we give it a change in momentum. So that's where that came in, in uh, CO2.3. And then we looked at CO2.4 and 2.5, which we combined together uh, to look at conservation momentum and momentum and collisions and elastic collisions. So Momentum before and momentum after are equivalent, equivalent in collisions, uh, but for elastic collisions, kinetic energies before and after are also equivalent. So looking at kinetic energy, I call it Ke here. We used to, we're usually calling it Ek, but Ke, it means the same thing, kinetic energy. And of course, kinetic energy is one half mv squared. So we can look at objects before versus after. And the difference here is that we looked at uh, the idea that in a collision it's very difficult to determine individual final velocities but you can if it's an elastic collision. So that's where we did the one in which we rearranged and uh, solved for either VA or VB. There's another way I, in your notes, I had this equation rearranged, applying the negative. You can write that over here if you like. The other rearrangement that we used where VA minus VB equals, let's see, negative times negative is V prime B minus V prime A. So you can have that version here if you look back at EQ 2.4, uh, EQ 2.5, you'll see that. So we looked at those types of examples. And then lastly, uh, inelastic collisions, one in which kinetic energy uh, isn't the same in after total and total, and there is a transfer of kinetic energy in terms of thermal or some other forms of energy. So if you look back, uh, you will see what we just did uh, the other day, in fact. Uh, in terms of the format, 10 questions worth 10 marks. And I only have one, so there'll, there'll be like mini calculations, impulse, momentum. And I really have one big question, which is kind of broken off in the four questions here. To give you a hint of what we'll be asking, I'll give you a scenario, a collision, um, using the momentum, uh, using the conservation of momentum equation, figure out the final velocity of one of the objects. If, uh, of course, we have the final velocity of the other one. So it's fairly straightforward. It's, it's basically what we had in 2.3. And then for B and C, I want you to figure out the total kinetic energy at the start and then total final kinetic energy. Now these two numbers could end up being equal or not equal. And that leads to question D, comparing the initial and final kinetic energies and deciding whether it's elastic or inelastic. If it is inelastic, discuss uh, what happened in terms of transfer of energy, where did it go? All right.
Um, so look, if you look back through your uh, notes and questions, you should be able to easily get that. Again, this is one. Of the, this is a smaller test than what we're used to using. It's only 23 marks, so it's about two thirds the size of a regular test. And again, it's open book, so no rewrite. So make sure you go through your notes. And uh, I'll, I will also post the uh, formula sheet on Google Classroom, so you can have that and print that out and use it. And you can add things here. Again, call this impulse. You could also have the alternative form of this if you look in your notes. All right, we'll see you again.